Hi, welcome to the Seal App tutorial video. Seal App supports both iOS and Android platform. Please update your iOS version to 8.0 or above, and the an Android version to 4.4 or above. You can download the app from Apple App Store and Google Play by searching Zero. You can also find the download link from our website. After you launch the app, please tap the button on the top to register. Enter your email and password to register and log in. Then, you can scan the QR code at the back of the package to link the app to your drone. You can also tap the button at the bottom to use the app immediately. Now, we can enter the user center to adjust the app, including system setup, instructions, training menu, and product warranty. Tap the icon on the top to change the profile, password, screen saver, or add a new drone. Next, open the settings on the device. Choose the Wi-Fi settings. Then choose the Wi-Fi network starting with Explore to connect. When the device is connected to the Wi-Fi signal, the range extender is connected. Now, let's have a look at the main page. You can preview the image and adjust the camera mode. The flight data is displayed at the top, and you can tap the icon at the top right to adjust them. The data is light will be displayed on the screen. Make sure the number of GPS signal indicator is 6 or above, so the drone can be much safer in GPS flight mode. Tap the button on the right to take photos or record videos. Tap the button beside to switch between photo mode and video mode. Album is displayed at the bottom. You can preview photos, download photos and videos to share them with your friends. There's a drone battery indication bar on the right. When the bar decreases to the yellow area, the drone battery is 30%. When the bar decreases to the red area, the drone battery is 15%. We suggest you land your drone as soon as possible when the bar decreases to the yellow area. You can change the camera mode above, including shooting, follow me, and follow snap. Tap or swipe to switch between the modes. Now, we will introduce the shooting mode. Tap the button on the top left to adjust the camera, including resolution, ISO, white balance, etc. The map is displayed at the bottom left, so you can locate your drone position. Tap the button at the corner. The image and the map will be switched in different ways. Tap the map to enter the map function, and the image will be displayed at the bottom left. At the bottom right, there is a drone orientation icon. Tap the icon and the other functions will pop up including drone location, orientation lock, flight to waypoints, point to flight, and map selections. Tap the orientation lock to lock the orientation, so you can locate your drone easier. Tap the map selection to choose the different types of map. Next, I will introduce two different flight modes. Flight to waypoints. The explorer can set up to 16 flight points. Tap the button and choose your preferred flight points by tapping the position on the map. Then confirm your flight points. The points on the map will change from red to green. When all flight points are uploaded to the drone, the drone will fly according to the selection automatically. Point to fly. You can choose the flight point on the map which is less than 300 meters away from you. The drone will fly to the selected point automatically. Before you enter the follow me function, make sure the device located surface is switched on with a strong GPS signal at 6 or above. Also make sure the flight area is wide open with no obstacles like buildings and trees. Switch to the third flight level and keep the drone at least 5 meters away from you. When the drone is ready, tap the self-circling button. Then the drone will circle around based on the location. Likewise, Tap the follow button. The drone will follow you based on where you go. Please keep your hands on the remote when the drone is in these two modes, and make sure the drone is under your control. The buttons on the left control the movement of the drone. Tap the top button to move the drone backward, and tap the down button to move the drone forward. 
tap the buttons on the sides to move the drone clockwise and counterclockwise. Next, I will show the photo snap function. Another photo me mode. Photo snap mode uses Xerox, latest image recognition technology. Select your preferred object on the screen. Then press the IOC button and tap the photo snap button on the screen. So the drone can locate it and photo the specific object you choose. Please press the IOC button again in case of emergencies. Please download and use the Xerox app as soon as you purchase our product. So the app will keep flight track record on your drone for our specialists to analyze. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.